As we dive into SpaceX's rapid development journey, one thing stands out above all, and that is speed. Speed in innovation, speed in execution. The impressive reality is that even before completing the test flights of Starship Version 1, Version 2 is already moving closer to the perfection of the hardware technology with this futuristic rocket design. In today's episode of Alpha Tech, we'll get into the new upgrades that SpaceX has implemented for Starship and examine how these improvements will impact space exploration in this new era. So let's set aside the achievements of Starship's Version 1 over the last year, because Spaceship Starship V2 is getting more looks than ever before. Recently, in a surprising move, Ship 33 was brought out and underwent two full cryogenic proof tests at Massey. After completing these tests and providing valuable data for SpaceX's engineering team, Ship 33 returned to the production facility on November 2nd for analysis. The movement and testing of this ship are noteworthy, but what initially grabs our attention and piques our curiosity are the visible upgrades on this V2. The updated design represents a major step forward in SpaceX's goal of making Starship the most powerful reusable launch vehicle on the planet. Called Starship Block 2, Ship 33 includes many design improvements over previous Block 1 versions. While Block 1 ships were focused on early testing and proof of concept missions, Block 2 Starships use lessons learned from earlier flights and introduce new hardware configurations. These changes aim to increase efficiency, reliability, and compatibility with updated booster models. For instance, the flight termination system on Block 2 has been redesigned for a quicker response time and better integration with other systems on board, which is essential for safe aborts during launch and landing. The heat shield design has also been refined. Aligning with Elon Musk's vision is now thinner and lighter, yet twice as durable as the previous heat shield. Additionally, Block 2 ships no longer have the large temporary stringers seen on Block 1, and that's a smoother, more efficient exterior. With such hardware improvements, close monitoring by SpaceX is essential. Cryogenic tests, including filling both tanks with super cold liquid nitrogen to simulate launch conditions, allows engineers to identify leaks, assess structural integrity, and ensure that the system can withstand the pressures of spaceflight. After completing several rounds of cryogenic testing, the new Starship moves on to engine installation and further preparations for flight. Now, some people are wondering when this ship's going to be ready to fly, and that's a tough question to answer because in the past, ships typically need up to eight months to complete engine installation, testing, and then other final preparations before the actual flight. However, it remains unclear whether this ship will take less or more time to do all that. If you have any predictions, let us know down there in the comments below. We'd love to see what you're thinking. Another extremely important change in Starship V2, which we'll get into further in this video, is the nose cone on Ship 33. All right, so alongside improved smoothness through refined wells and reduced bracing, the flaps are the most noteworthy feature right here. Another extremely important change in Starship V2, which I'll discuss further now, is the nose cone on Ship 33. Alongside the smoothness that got improved from refined wells and reducing the bracing, the flaps are perhaps the most noteworthy feature. At first glance, Starship V2 looks a bit bulkier than V1, but in reality, the flaps have actually been scaled down, aligning with Elon's statement a couple years back saying forward flaps will change a lot in upcoming versions of Starship, smaller and more leeward. However, despite that early discussion, this new flap design was not implemented on later V1 models. After encountering issues with the flaps during Flight 4, this updated design has finally made its debut. Elon explained further that the newer version of Starship relocates the forward flaps to improve reliability, ease of production, and enhance orbital payload capacity. Also, Elon gave more context. I'm so glad we finally fixed the forward flap design. The old one was killing me. It was too large and heavy, positioned at 180 degrees, causing issues during the high heating hypersonic phase of the flight. The new design solves those problems. So, what advantages has this new design brought to SpaceX's Starship? While the forward flaps on V2 are smaller, they reduce aerodynamic drag, impacting navigation and the critical flip maneuver during landing. This minimizes damage risk in flight and simplifies production, increasing flexibility in operations. In terms of shape, the edges of the flaps have been adjusted to improve aerodynamic performance. The positioning has been optimized by moving them closer to the top of the vehicle, enhancing directional control during flight. Unlike the previous version, where flaps were symmetrically placed at a 180-degree angle, 
the new config shifts the flaps into airflow at about 120 to 140 degrees. This repositioning gives better protection during re-entry, reducing the likelihood of damage as seen in Flight 4. These modifications are expected to improve the efficiency of one of Starship's most sensitive systems, making future flights safer and more predictable. If SpaceX successfully achieves efficient operation of the upgrades in V2, we will not doubt the complete reusability of Starship. So, what difference would it make in the industry if SpaceX hits full reusability with Starship? Remember, a NASA space shuttle also designed to be fully reusable, but the key here is the turnaround time and costs associated with each launch. It typically takes up to nine months to disassemble and refurb the engines, not to mention the cost and time to replace thermal shields. This caused the shuttle's cost to skyrocket, even compared to similar expendables. This was also one of the reasons why the shuttle program couldn't continue at that time. For SpaceX, launching Starship quickly in the future to reduce costs is an essential goal that needs to be achieved, and this has an advantage that no other rocket in the world can compete with. The cost has been a major barrier limiting access to space. Since the 1950s, the cost of traditional space programs made it inaccessible for most countries just because it was so high. Although SpaceX isn't the only private company doing launch services, it's emerged as one of the most important. These days, humans will have more opportunities to get to space thanks to Starship. And this isn't just leaps and bounds that only billionaires can do, but it's actually an opportunity for all of us. Elon announced a target to bring the cost of launching Starship down to 10 mil a launch, a surprisingly low figure. However, with Elon at the helm, it's almost certain that SpaceX will achieve this goal by any means necessary. Besides, Starship is the largest launch system ever developed, and when fully operational, it should be able to take up to 200 tons into orbit, an impressive payload. For comparison, SpaceX's Falcon 9, the company's reliable workhorse, can carry up to 50,000 pounds to LEO per launch. This difference enables significant economies of scale as bigger payloads can get launched at once, which allows customer companies to save on payload preparation costs. Now, historically in spaceflight, payloads have been miniaturized to fit on rockets, and that's up the cost. But with Starship, however, that paradigm can be reversed. Instead of spending heavily to shrink and miniaturize technology, customers can use larger, more standard components, reducing development costs. And Starship offers the flexibility to use off-the-shelf solutions without the expense and limitations of miniaturization. Starship will have an immediate impact once orbital testing is completed and safety certifications obtained. Launching satellites and resupply missions to the IS will be the first step, followed by getting humans beyond Earth to the moon and out to Mars. As early as the year after next, Starship is slated for a moon mission under a contract with NASA. Their reusability and cost savings align with NASA's goal of establishing a human presence on the moon. Moon, making it a stepping stone for other planets in the future. Moreover, Starship itself is going to be the first outpost on these distant planets. Government planners won't have to worry too much about the emergence of Starship, as it'll serve a home on the Moon or on Mars. Beyond interplanetary aspirations, Starship also revolutionizes transportation on Earth. With its enormous capacity and rapid speed, the new version of Starship will expand transportation opportunities from one place to another, reducing transit times between distant points, of course with a reasonable price and Starship being available to everyone, whether government or private entities. Now, of course, cheaper payloads into space also lead to more affordable orbital tourism. Sweet! First, commercial orbital stations will create more opportunities to host said tourists. Second, tourists will be able to go on the Starship itself, and then there are already such contracts. For example, the Polaris program, with Jared Isaacman, the billionaire founder, has purchased as many as three more flights from SpaceX. The first mission, known as Polaris Dawn, launched a four-person crew led by Jared Isaacman using the Falcon 9 rocket crew and Crew Dragon spacecraft. Polaris Dawn's going to be one of up to three planned missions, with the final one to be the first crewed spaceflight of SpaceX's Starship rocket. Each such new rocket system makes space a little more accessible to each of us, and the time is not so far away when flights into space will be as affordable as getting on a regular airplane. That's pretty cool, yeah? But in reality, as Starship continues to get upgrades, it's going to be even more advantageous than we already think.
These are going to be important steps for Starship to get closer to hitting those milestones. It will not only reinforce SpaceX's dominance, but also be a huge benefit for NASA and the space industry. It can be said that changes with Starship are truly breaking every record we can think of. Not simply the limit of the size of the rocket, it's going to be the limit of exploration that humans aim for. And that'll do it for today's episode. As always, we thank you for checking it out. Hope to see you back here next time. Have a great day. Take care and God bless. Bye.